maybe the event of the day, the 200 breaststroke. Marco Koch out in lane number eight. Adam Petey shaved and rested for the first time since Las Vegas a year ago in six. Pragoda, the world record holder. Shamanovic down in lane number four. Doesn't get any better than this. No, it, it certainly doesn't. You've got the world record holder in there, and he just might watch his world record go down in this race. And you talk about barriers and how critical they are in the sport. And once they happen, it's a sight to see. And two minutes is a huge barrier here, and this guy could do it. First, he's got to get by the world record, which is 2.0016. Looks pretty relaxed, Roddy. Big smile coming out in the pool deck. And, and this is his only shot at the 200 breaststroke world record burning because New York will most likely not make the final four. So this is the last chance here for him, and he knows it. 30 years of age, second all time. Can he move to first? Uh, it, it, it has to be the second 50. It, it's not necessarily what he does the first 50. Don't jump on it. He doesn't have to jump on this. The world record split 27 flat. He was 27.6 when he went 2.005. It's that second 50. It was 30.9 to a 30.6. If he can move that needle down on the second 50, I think he's got a shot. Yeah, it's interesting, Roddy, because Marco Koch and Pergoda kind of swam this 200 breaststroke completely different, right? Because Pergoda yeah. really pushes the front half. Yeah, he, he well, it's 57.6 to 58.6. That's that's really pushing. But this is where he's got to do it, right here. 27.5 on the front half. That's right where he's been so far. So again, the key is he was 30.9 on the second 50. The world record split was 30.6. So it's going to be pretty easy. He may not even lead after the 100. Yeah, look at Petey and Pergoda. They are leading 58-4. Yeah. That's not where he needed to be. 58-7. He was 31-2 on that split. And Wait. Pergoda said, it's my world record. You're going to have to come out and chase me even to get this win in the 200 breaststroke. And, and Mark talked to Adam Petey and said, listen, I, I'm here. I'm ready to go. I'm shaved and look at Pagoda. And even Koseki down in lane number two for Tokyo. He's in the mix as well. And now for Cook, it's not so much world record, but can he win the race? That's the key now. Trying to remain unbeaten. Marco Cook. And Pergoda turning even. Pergoda looking pretty good in this race. Cork is going to have to come in 30.2 to get the record. And, and he didn't it's going to be Kirill Pergoda. London roaring to the win. They go first and fourth. And folks, that's big because the jackpot points are headed to the roar instead of New York, they get three extra points as Pergoda, the world record holder, still on top, wins the 200 breast. Well, you couldn't ask for anything more from this race for London. This is the epitome of motivation and momentum. Here's the world record holder. Everybody's talking about he's going down, his record's going down, he'll be lucky to be top three. There's Koch to the right. In the middle, right there is Pergoda. You know, he's a world record holder for a reason. And boom, right there, that'll tell you why. 201, 20, 201, 3-1. And how about London getting first and fourth there with Petey having a strong 200, which bodes well for his 50 and 100. And you don't think Coach Mel's happy? She certainly is. And get this, folks, London, they are now on top of the defending champions leading by nine points. Well, things are getting interesting here on day number one. Again, that strategy, take advantage of your big event.